Uh, I am interested in spectral theory of random matrices a lot. In my study of subplot scaling limit, the paper gives me an introduction that some of the bit examples can be studied by trade-diagonal matrices. Uh, I'm making the limits sort of as considering them as discrete versions of certain differential operators. We are trying to find a function of random differential operators so that the limiting point process is exactly the spectrum of that operator. We use the Cassie Array operator to study it. The most interesting and the critical part is the Riccati transformation. So we first focus on the differential operator, how it's equal to negative second derivatives plus the potential function Q of X that it is deterministic and, uh, and smooth. Uh, and consider it on, with a directly problem that the, on the truncation zero to L, how psi is equal to lambda psi. And the boundary psi of zero is equal to psi of L is equal to zero. So what is the Riccati transformation? It's something like the logarithm derivative. We have like P of X lambda is equal to psi of prime of X lambda over percent of x lambda. So we can plug p of x lambda back to this function that the p prime of x lambda is equal to q of x minus lambda minus p square of x, uh, p square of x lambda. And it is uh, obvious that when psi is equal to zero, the p will goes to negative infinity. So when so when z is equal to zero, p will be negative infinity. And we can draw the sketch of the p, it would be like it started from positive infinity and then goes down to the negative infinity. When this goes to the negative infinity, it will return to the positive infinity immediately and restart the process. And we can consider the stem oscillation theory by the initial value problem for fixed lambda. So the uh, style of zero lambda is equal to zero and the set prime of L lambda is equal to one. So the number of eigenvalues less than and equal to lambda would be the number of zeros of uh, x in psi on the truncation zero to L. And by the property of P of x lambda, it would be also equal to the number of blow ups of P on the truncation zero to L. So I think it is the most interesting part in the stud in my study of soft edge limits. For my interest in random matrices, I hope to study in current in the future, not only because it has a very strong probability group where the variety of probability seminars available will open my view in probability, but also several interesting research projects carried out by the faculty members in Tribune Loud. Um, I hope I could work with I'm interested in working with Professor Bogit because his current research in local law for bit examples aligns with my goals in random matrix theory, specifically in his study on university for random band matrices in 2017. He implied the localization method, which I believe will be in integral in my own research on university behavior.